Hello, and welcome to Lewis University. We're glad you'll be joining us um, and becoming part of our community. My name is Mike Zagadlo, and I'm the chief of the Lewis University Police Department. And I'm going to spend a few minutes talking with you about public safety on campus, some of the resources we have, and important information you'll need to know uh, about public safety on campus. Well, the first thing I like to explain is that we here at Lewis University have a police department. Some campuses have a security department, other campuses have a police department. Here at Lewis, we have sworn certified police officers that have all of the same authority and capabilities uh, that municipal police officers have. So they have the ability to make arrests and investigate crimes and take criminal reports and make traffic stops. Um, our officers do a lot of community outreach and community uh, oriented policing, but they are uh, real police officers as opposed to security officers. Our office is located in the Learning Resource Center, which is the first large building as you, as you arrive on campus, and we're actually located on the ground floor. So if you make entry through the lobby on the ground floor and go into the back hallway, you'll find the Lewis University Police Department offices located in that back hallway, uh, beginning with LRG 24. Our staff is divided into three different types uh, of employees. We have our sworn certified police officers. They wear a dark blue uniform like the one I'm wearing. They have a badge and a gun. Um, those uh, are our official police officers that have the ability to make arrests and, um, and have police authority. Then we have a group of officers called campus safety officers or CSOs. And these CSOs are non-sworn. Uh, so they're not police officers. They are unarmed. They don't carry a gun. Uh, and they help with service calls. So they'll help you if you need your car jump started or if you're walking from building to building and you want someone to walk with you. They also serve as our dispatchers. So they work in that uh, hut at the front of campus. That's our, our police communication center. That building, that that shack at the front of campus is has someone in uh, a, a live person in there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that phone number at that building is 815-836-5911. You can call that number anytime, day or night, and you'll always get a live person answering that number. So if you have an emergency on campus or you need police assistance, um, you can call 815-836-5911 from your cell phone, and you'll be talking to one of our campus safety officers who can dispatch a police officer to help you. So I would recommend that you uh, create a contact in your cell phone for 815-836. 836-5911 and have that line programmed in uh, in case you need it in an emergency. The other group of personnel that work for the police department are our campus safety assistants. These are student workers um, and they help work the front desk uh, over in the police office in the LRC. They help us with special events, directing traffic. Um, and we're, uh, we typically have about five or six of them working for us each semester. So if you qualify for federal work study, and you're looking for a campus job, that's uh, that's possibility for you. In terms of some uh, housekeeping issues, if you have a car on campus, you are required um, to have a parking permit for it. So even if you're a commuter student who lives off campus and drives your car onto campus, you have to have a parking permit for your car. The parking permits are free. All you have to do is go into your My Lewis portal after July 1st um, and access under the resources tab in the My Lewis portal, simply push the parking permit button. And that will take you into our parking permit software where you can create an account uh, and put in all your information and the sticker will be mailed to your home address. And then you just put that sticker on your card. Uh, as soon as you create that account and apply for a permit, you'll be emailed a PDF file, which you can print out uh, and leave on your dashboard until you receive your parking sticker. Your parking stickers are going to look like this. They're either going to be red or green. The red parking stickers are for resident students. So if you live in the residence halls, if you live on campus, you'll get a red sticker. 
Uh, if you live off campus and drive to campus every day, then you get a green commuter sticker. But either way, you have to have a sticker on your car um, in order to park on campus. Additionally, all students are required to have a student identification card. Those are also free, and you can get those at the police office in the Learning Resource Center in LRG 32. It's the last door on at the end of the hallway uh, in the police area on the ground floor of the LRC. Um, you're going to use your ID card to buy food in the dining hall, to get into sporting events, to take books out of the library, to access printers on campus. So having that ID card is important uh, in terms of navigating campus, but you're also required to carry it with you at all times. And a staff member can ask you to present your ID at any time if they need it. Other things that uh, other services we provide, we handle all of the crime reporting and investigation on campus. So if you've had something stolen from you or you've been the victim of a crime, you can come to the police department and we will take that report and investigate that incident. We have a lost and found, which is also located in our, in our LRC office. Um, so if you've misplaced your AirPods or your cell phone, you can come in and check with us to see if that's been turned in. We'll help you if your car needs jump starting. So we have jumper kits. So if your car battery dies and you need a jump start, you can call us. We'll assist with that. If you're locked out of a building uh, or if you're locked out of your car. So if you lock your keys in your car, we can help you get back in your car. If you're locked out of your residence hall or you're locked out of an office, we can help you with that. And we also offer an escort service. So if you're walking from one building to another building late at night and you need someone to walk with you, you can... Uh, Call that number, 815-836-5911, uh, and we'll send someone to walk with you. We also do a lot of community education and crime prevention training. So we do training on uh, personal safety. We do women's self-defense classes through our RAD program. We teach uh, students, faculty, and staff how to survive an active shooter incident. We call that ALICE training. Um, we do violence prevention training and threat assessment training to help the community recognize people who may be in distress and how to help them. Um, and you can access any of those resources through our website at www.lewisu.edu. You can also scan the QR code on this slide and that'll take you to our uh, Lewis Police website. There's a lot of information available there. You can uh, download our security and fire report. You can request a community education program there. Uh, you can anonymously report a crime uh, through the LUPD website. So um, it's a good resource to have access to. Well, we also have a big social media presence. So you can like us on Facebook. Feel free to follow us on Twitter at Lewis Police. We're also on Instagram at Lewis U Police. And we have our own YouTube channel where you can find videos like this and other uh, educational videos to help you understand the police department. If you have any questions or you just want to stop by and get more information, uh, our office in the LRC is open during regular business hours, but we are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you if you have a question at three o'clock in the morning and you don't know who to call, you can call that number that I put up on the screen before, 815 836 5911, and there will always be someone there to answer your question. If it's business hours, you're welcome to come by the office, stop in, we'll have a cup of coffee. Uh, we'll talk with Thea about your questions or your comments or your complaints or concerns. We're eager to see you become part of the Flyer community and happy to have you here with us and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you very much.